Hi guys, I'm Jose Sorasola. I'm a chef and an actor and I also own Avenue 75 Sports Bar in Vietnam's Paranaque. And welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'll be cooking a very classic Filipino dish with my personalized twist. Okay, I'll be showing you how to make my peanut butter caldereta. Let me show you the ingredients so we can start. Okay, let's start our recipe by sauteing some garlic. There we go. Make sure your flame is low so that your garlic won't get burnt. After that, I'll be adding some chopped onions as well. So I'll just wait till this gets cooked to add, then add the leaf. So while my onions and garlic are being cooked, I can add now some salt and pepper on my beef. It's always very important guys to season your meats before cooking them. And you can either use tenderloin or sirloin if you want really quality beef but then you can also buy at the supermarket um, uh, caldereta cut of beef so make sure to use good beef guys just mix it a bit then I can add it to my pot there you go okay. so you want to cook this for a few minutes because the skin gets a bit brown and after a few minutes, you can see my beef is turning light brown. It's not yet cooked, but now I'll be adding my tomato sauce. Of course, a very classic ingredient for caldereta. There you go. And I'll wait a few more minutes before adding my next ingredient. At this point, I can add my chopped tomatoes as well. There you go. Give another good mix. And then after, I'll be adding some beef stock. Next step, I'll be adding some beef stock to add more flavor to our sauce. There you go. And then I'll be leaving this for 20 to 30 minutes till my beef becomes really soft and tender and falling from the bone which we want when we eat caldereta. Just cover it, low heat, and after 30 minutes, we'll be back. Now guys, it's almost 30 minutes, so let's check on our beef. Woo! Wow, it looks good. I think uh, my uh, beef is really, you know, almost there in terms of the cooking time. Still a bit tough, but you know, give it a few more minutes. On this note, I'll be adding our potatoes. There you go. So now I'll wait for my potatoes to become a bit soft. And of course, add more time to cooking my beef. So we'll come back after 10 minutes. My next step now, I'll be adding my next ingredient. I think my sauce looks good in the meat. The potatoes are soft as well. I'll be adding my first sweetening agent, my gata. There you go, for that creamy taste we want the sauce. You know, this adds really a different dimension to our sauce natin. There you go. I'll we'll give it a good mix and wait it for it to bubble before I add my twist ingredient. As so you can see, my sauce now, it has that white and creamy texture. It really blended well with the tomato sauce. I think the kata is really the key to add that different uh, taste to our sauce. Now I'll be adding my red and green bell pepper for that color. It's always nice to eat, you know, food that has bright colors. So I always like adding, you know, red and green. So I'll just mix this in and wait till they become soft before adding my last ingredient. Now it's time for my surprise ingredient, which I've been talking about since uh, earlier. I'll be adding my peanut butter. There you go. It's uh, really sticky and lumpy, but that's what I want for my sauce. You know, it's always good to try different things, you know, add twists to your recipes, not stick to the same style of cooking or the same sauces. So today, I'll be adding some peanut butter. So if your kids and your family will try something different with your caldereta. So just mix everything well together. I'll also be adding a bit of spice, some chopped chili. There. And let's cook this for around five more minutes and we can serve our dish. We're done, let's now try our sauce to see if it has a perfect flavor and good consistency. Oh wow, wow. You can taste the gata, you can taste the peanut butter, it tastes amazing. Let's add a bit of salt for my final seasoning. And a bit of uh, black pepper. Give it one final mix and after we can serve our dish and eat. Okay, so it's now time to try our peanut butter candeleta. Let's go. Alright, get some sauce, a bit of the beef. Mmm, wow. Mmm. 
the beef is so soft and tender, the sauce, the gata, the peanut butter really went well and everything blended so good. Guys, you must try this at home. It's also good to try different twists of uh, old school recipes for your family and your kids to enjoy. As I said, always try something new at home. This has been Chef Jose Sarasola. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.